Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Color Mixing with Chris. We are here in the booth at Createx Colors and I'm going to cover a topic of making a candy metallic. So we always talk about doing candy pearls and we're always mixing our candy colors with our coinciding pearl colors. So radiant red with blood red, our ultramarine blue and those colors always kind of color keying them with our pearls that we have in our line. But for this, we're going to show you an even easier way to do a metallic look with your candy. You can see this, this is over a black and white card, so you can see the, we still have a pretty good value change from light to dark, and it has a really nice metallic look to it, and that's because of all the metallic that is in our silver sealer. So this is gonna be the base. Our silver sealer is gonna give us that metallic effect, and then you can mix any of our candies in with that silver sealer. So with the ratio that we have is pretty simple. It's very easy to follow. It's actually one to one to one. So it's gonna be one part of our silver sealer, and for this, we're gonna use our Candy 2.0 Blood Red. And again, any color is in our, in our Candy 2.0 line is gonna work just as well. And then it's actually gonna be one more part of our sealer 6000. Now, Typically when I spray my candies, I always talk about using our 4050, our UVLS uh, gloss as the carrier for a candy. But because we're mixing with our metallic and our silver sealer, I want to use the same resin, right? The same binder. This is the product. This is our transparent sealer, the 6000. So it's going to be one part this to one part candy to one part sealer. And then we're going to come back and just reduce probably right around 10 to 15% with our 4011 reducer, our go-to reducer, just for flow. And uh, you're going to achieve a very cool effect, just like this, uh, and, and very minimal amounts of coats. So I think this was three coats over this card. So this is going to work great for doing backgrounds or even just a graphic. So what I'll do is show you guys, we'll start with our silver sealer. We'll get a card co totally covered, so we'll lose this line with our silver sealer. And then we'll go right to our silver sealer candy 2.0 mix. And you guys can see what that looks like. So we'll get the booth running and we'll see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, we are ready to spray. Like I said, I'm going to do a ground coat of our silver sealer. So I already have it mixed up, just about 10% 411 reducer with my silver sealer. Uh, I'm using my uh, W400, the LVWBX is a 1.3 at uh, 20 psi. Re manufacturers recommend it, it's nothing special. Uh, so I'm going to do two coats over our black and white cards. You guys can see how fast and nice and easy that covers. And that's going to be the ground coat for our candy metallic. So I'm going to get ready to spray. back coat number one is dry and I'm gonna put on coat number two like I say you can really see that it's pretty pretty well covered as it dries it actually gets a little more opaque so two coats totally cover this and we'll be ready to go to our candy metallic so I'm gonna put coat number two on Okay guys, we are back. Our silver sealer is totally dry. You guys can see that that black and white line is pretty well gone. Uh, the third coat would totally make that go away. Two coats is perfect for this. So we're gonna put this aside and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about with that one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one mix. It's super easy, very easy in terms of being repeatable and consistent. So I already have silver sealer in the bottom of this cup and to one part. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to two parts with my transparent sealer. So I'm going to go right to two, and I'm going to go right to three with my candy 2.0. And again, this is blood red for this uh, particular time that we're spraying it, but any of our candy 2.0 colors will work fantastic with this system. And, and that silver sealer, because of the amount of sparkle in it, as you can see, it has that great glitter effect, so you get a really nice multi-dimensional candy. So it's, it's a good way to actually do a ground coat. If you're going to spray blood red and you wanted a metallic base, you could actually tint this base with your blood red ahead of time and then do your candy neat over that. So now you already have kind of a color key base that's going to make covers better, going to get rid of any kind of striping or modeling, you know, and allow you to go a little happier in your concentration in terms of spraying your candy. So that's also another good way to achieve that kind of a color key ground coat. So that's one to one to one. The candy, because it is so thin, sometimes you don't necessarily have to reduce 10%. Uh, uh, so we say 10%, I mean obviously that's that's your guide. If you're spraying with a larger gun, I, like I have my 1.3, 
I might be able to get away with this without reducing. I'll just check the viscosity, and that's pretty thin. So I think I'm actually going to opt to not hit this with 4011. A lot of times, even with my candy, when I spray my candy, depending on my concentration of candy, there's no reason to reduce it either. So I'm going to let this get nice and mixed. I'm going to put my mask on, and we're going to do the first coat. Okay, guys, got my color back and my PPS cup. Same gun, my, my 1.3, my W400 LV, WBX. Uh, and we're going to do coat number one so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, guys, we are back. Coat number one is totally dry. It literally has been just about a minute. Um, that's, uh, I mean, a great result. So that's coat number one. It's probably going to be three, right around three coats to get this color saturation where you want it. So we're going to go ahead and do coat number two. Okay guys, coat number two is dry. That's what we have. So we're going to do one more coat, coat number three. Make this nice and rich and we'll take it outside. You guys can see what it looks like outside. Okay guys, we are outside grabbing the last couple minutes of daylight here in the sun and that really makes this color pop. So this is the one we just sprayed and you can see how vibrant, even without clear coat on it, that effect is. And that's three coats over that aluminum base uh, really makes this come to life. Remember that was one to one to one with our sealer and our candy and our transparent sealer. So it's a very easy mix, a little tool for you guys to have in your toolbox for doing ground coats or background colors, a really cool effect that's easy to achieve and it's consistent and repeatable. And this is also good for doing, uh, if you're gonna spray candy neat over this, like let's say you wanted to come back over this with more blood red, now you have a very good consistent even finished ground coat that it's going to be that much easier to spray candy neat over without running the risk of having any kind of blotch or striping or any kind of that. So that is the panel we just sprayed. This was the original that we did that actually has clear coat on it so you can really see the difference in applying that clear coat and really how rich that looks. Now the only difference is this is not over the silver sealer. This was just over that black and white card but it shows you what kind of effect you can achieve and how easy that really is. So this has been another episode of Color Mixing with Chris, and we'll see you guys next time.